here, sweet girl. Come here. Let Mama see your face. This is our sweet little um, mojito. I promised I was going to feature a few of these pups whenever I could. Right now we're in very quiet time. This one is being very disobedient right now, okay? She's been very good up till now. She thinks that I'm per off preoccupied. So I'm going to show you how I take care of this. Before I do one, he did. Whoops, can't get up very easily. Getting like my mama. Okay. Off! Off! Oh, she found a treat up there. That's what it is. What have you got in your mouth? That's not good. I don't need you eating these. When they get this small, they're not allowed to have them. Okay? These are raw hides. They come in nice big 12 inch sizes like that 10, 12. This one is too big to actually, she can get these in her mouth. And when they can disappear in their mouth, get rid of them. Now, She's also disobeying me, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say, off. Now, you can spray her in the mouth. Off. There you go. Good girl. Off. Good off. Now, where's your Chewy? Where's your Chewy? Where's your Chewy? Where's your Chewy? Now, I have them under here. This is um, playtime right now. And at 10 weeks, almost 11 weeks, we act, wait, are we 11 weeks? We might even be 11 weeks today. They're actually, we are, wow. This is, uh, we actually don't even open the doors anymore. So they're allowed to actually have their raw hides. They're learning their areas. Notice I have a power cord here. I don't run the power cord through their little play area, which is right there. And you'll notice that Lula has found something rather exciting there. But they love corners. They love this, like a little tucked corner. And if you go over here, you'll notice they really like being up under something, like under your coffee table. So when we say have uh, quiet time, which I need quiet time, I've got to take care of some business, um, this is where they like to be. If not here, of course, they would rather be on the sofa with you, but I'm not allowing that. They're too old to do this. I'm not sure what their homes want. And, I think everybody needs a dog sofa, but that's just me, and you may not want that. So right now, you can see that that is, let me tell you who that is. Oh, Mojito. She got up. This is the incomparable. I think that's Daisy. It is Daisy. Daisy do right. She's gorgeous. Now, this one has blonde, um, uh, I mean, uh, caramel hair, and listen, no, 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 honey-colored hair, and then caramel ears and points. She's just a beautiful girl. Look how they get into that now. See how long that is? That's a big one. She's just going crazy over the end. Very good for them. Now, um, when your puppy chews, be aware of it. The last time you went to potty, set a timer if you have to, which I'm going to do right now, because they will need to go poop soon. Or pee. It stimulates that. So anyway, there's an unclaimed raw hide here. The hardest time thing I have with training is that, because my puppies don't understand why are little guys allowed on the sofa if I'm not. They kind of feel like it's just a unfair world, and you know what? It is. It's unfair. Poopsies get away with way too much. Now this is, oh my gosh, my hunk of burning. But, well, actually, she and Daisy are very much like that. This is my beautiful uh, Zuzu. She's named Zuzu because she has a zebra collar. Now, this one has been fully trained since she was about eight weeks old. We've kept her behind, not behind, she just hasn't um, got, the families haven't called us yet that want an exact match with her. Um, that or I, I just have been so slow. I'm, I don't want to see them all disappear in one weekend. I'm enjoying this, loving her, holding her. Mojito's day was yesterday. I got to cuddle her like my baby and enjoy taking her in because I know that as they're adopted, I will most likely not see them except through internet. So I'm enjoying this. And it also gives me a chance to really um, prepare each one for their homes. You know, 11 weeks is a good age. Look how big she is compared to Mojito. Mojito's much smaller. This one's gonna be um, a good 15 pounds heavier than her sister, but as you see, Oh my, it's a wild 15 pounds. You say, wild and woolly, crazy mama, a party animal. No. Are you wild? Will it make any difference? 
No, if anything, it just gives exactly what we want for our families, and that is the indestructibility factor, the calm. You know, being a little bigger, it's great for... She actually is more suitable for more families than Mojito. So, more family. And I'll, in particular, retirees. Oh, hi, you snooze, you lose, baby. Let it sit there, hon. Same thing, she is uh, honey colored and her she's a double the red that you see in this video. The video is washed out anemic. In fact, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm changing my camera. That's all there is to it. I'm getting a new camera. Yay, finally, after all these years, I deserve one. Uh, it's just shameful how everybody says that too. They're like, oh my goodness, they don't even look like the same puppies. And it's true. I mean, that looks white. Oh, wait. Oh, that's Daisy. Yeah, both of these. And actually, Daisy is lighter than her, but it's just totally toned down. This thing is like somebody's put a washout filter on it. Oh, and this one's a fuzzball. You see that. They're going to be normal curl on these pups. Very normal. Um, Mojito um, has a thinner build, entirely thinner build. But it's amazing they're all sisters because they look so much alike. Big boy is outside. I can't wait to film him. He'll be next. But Daisy's got this easygoing, calm, wonderful personality. But she's also well suited to uh, run, hike, swim, boat, all of the above. Zuzu, same. More um, hunkier. But, um, both of these are suitable for families with children. With lots of children. And um, you can see how calm. Just, it's amazing. They've, this one, it takes them a little while to mature sometimes. Like this one took a while to mature. Mm -hmm. Right now she's jealous of her sister who has the other bone. I'm going to have to go find her one. Alrighty. Well, that's it. I'll have to go ground up Mojito again. Well, this is the only one I actually... That is sad. 